Hello friends, I'm Akash and welcome back to Spelling Today with Akash. In the previous video, I have explained about the vowels A, E, I, O, and U and the consonants of the English alphabet. The words in English are formed from the combination of these vowels and consonants. Usually the vowels bridge the consonant sounds to make the words easier for us to pronounce. While most vowel sounds in English are made with one vowel sounds known as monophthongs, some words have diphthongs. That is, the vowel sound that is produced by combining two adjacent vowel sounds to create a new sound, the diphthong. If these adjacent vowel sounds occur in different syllables, then it is called as a hiatus. In some words, there are triphthongs too. Let's get into details. Thongos means sound or tone in Greek, and then, you know, mono, di, or tri, stands for one, two, or three. Monophthongs are pure vowel sounds, and they have only one sound which does not glide up or down. Like, for example, cat, pen, pin, pot, and bus. However, on the other hand, Diphthongs, also known as gliding vowels, are the combination of two adjacent vowel sounds within the same syllable. These are the sounds that are produced by combining two vowel sounds to form a single syllable. As these are the combination of two vowel sounds, the mouth will change the position as we pronounce these diphthongs. Here are some common examples of diphthongs that have vowel sounds. For the long A, there's say, paid, gray, veil, and state. For the long E, there's mean, bean, ceiling, here, peer. For the short E, there's said and head. For the long I, there's pi, by, height and I. For the long O, there's glow, toe, loaf, and soul. For the long U, there's tour, poor, juice, and tool. And finally for the short U, there's book, should, and would. And these are some examples of diphthongs with blending vowel sounds. Coin, toy, hair, bear, aeroplane. Loud, how, saw, taught, poor. And now, Coming to the hiatus. A hiatus is the gap or pause between two vowel sounds in adjacent syllables with no intervening consonant. Like in the example, re-elect. And the triphthong is a combination of three adjacent vowel sounds in the same syllable. Like for example, beauty, queen, bureau, and lieutenant. If you come across another triphthong, please feel free to comment down below and we can discuss about them more. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this video about diphthongs. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel right here and share them with your friends. I'm Akash and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!